Hey everybody, it's Mike the Reptile Guy here. I've got a very frustrating situation that we're dealing with tonight. This afternoon I got a phone call from a gentleman who works in the construction industry, I think, and uh, they just drained a, a reservoir that's used to hold storm water, and at the bottom of the reservoir they found sliders. Now these are red-eared sliders native to the southern United States, um, but they actually survive up here in Canada. They can survive in BC, all over Canada. These are actually becoming a pest. Um, they're an invasive species. They eat pretty much anything in sight. They're in direct competition for the painted turtles, which are native turtle species. Um, so again, direct competition for food. And our, native, our, our painted turtles are already endangered. So this is just, it's a huge problem out here. Uh, now these also eat all, and all kinds of amphibians. They'll eat little frogs, tadpoles, newt, salamanders, anything they can find they will eat. All right, so it's a big problem for our ecosystem out here. Um, now, when I asked the guy how big they were, he said they were around 20, 25 centimeters. This one here is about 10 inches, all right? So it's, it's a large female. She's not full grown though. They can still get a little bit bigger than this, all right? Um, and I asked him how many there were, and he said, oh, well, take a look. This is how many there were. There are 14 in total, and they are all adult females. Now, there are a couple of different ways these, these females could have ended up in this pond, all right? First way is people could have bought them as pets from pet stores, because usually people get them. Put this guy down for a minute. People will buy them when they're little guys, about that big. They're about 40 or $50 in pet stores. Really cute, easy to look after. But when they start getting this size, they get really hard to look after because they're a really, really dirty animal, okay? So a lot of people, as these get older, they, they can't find homes for them because it's really hard to find a home for a slider this size. So they'll just let them go in a pond or a stream, which is a huge problem. But they can survive out here and people think it's great that the turtle is now in the wild, not realizing the damage they're doing to our ecosystem and our native species. Um, the other way these could have come about, uh, being in that reservoir, is you notice they're all females. They are all around the same size. Now, turtles, when they lay their eggs, depending on the temperature, they could either come out all males or all females because they are, um, their sexes are temperature dependent, right? Now, these ones here, because they're all females, they could be from the same clutch of eggs, all right, because they're all around the same size. Um, yeah, and they said they're all female, so there's a really good chance they could just be one clutch of turtles that was born from, um, you know, a turtle that was let go somewhere down the road. So there's a couple different ways they could have been there, but yeah, I mean, there's obviously more. I mean, there's a lot of females here, but I'm thinking too, is if there had been just one male in this reservoir and they didn't get them this summer, each one of these females could lay average about 25 eggs this year. All right, that's a lot of turtles to put into the ecosystem. And it's just, again, it's just more damage that, that we're causing with these things. Um, now the problem with these here is that I am not going to be able to find homes for all of them. All right, they're adult sliders. I have a hard enough time, time trying to find homes for ones that are about half this size, okay? It's, it's near impossible to do because there are so many of them out there looking for homes and that's why people just let them go because they can't find homes for them. So again, unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to put a lot of these down. It's, it's a sad reality, but it's what we have to do, right? I mean, the, another problem with these guys here, I mean, they're, again, they're a big messy animal. I wouldn't want to see one of these go into anything less than a 150 gallon aquarium because they need the room to swim. They also need a large land area. They need to be able to bask. Um, I've had some people say that uh, they want to put them outside in ponds. Well, again, we can't put them outside in a pond, even if it's in your backyard, because there's a good chance the turtle's going to wander away and it's going to get into another pond, and there we have the problem all over again. It started in a new pond, and then next year we've got, you know, 14 more turtles roaming around, causing problems for the environment. Um, another problem with these guys here, actually, is that they are what we would consider a wild turtle now, and if you look, they're actually, they're pretty aggressive now. Well, actually, this one's not too bad, but a lot of them are actually opening their mouths up pretty wide and snapping at me. And uh, yeah, they can take a pretty good chunk out of your finger if they get you. So again, it's, it's their aggression too. They're not gonna be an easy one to, to find homes for. Uh, now I got one more to show you here. This one, actually, I should show you two more. I had somebody Facebook me the other day asking about turtle shells and if they can break and things like that. And I said, yes, turtle shells can break. And now we have a perfect example right there. We don't know what happened to this one. Uh, I noticed it when I was cleaning them all up. I just got them home. And uh, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know how they were draining the reservoir, but um, you know, I don't know if they were using machinery or something. This might have hit it, or if they're using shovel, somebody might have hit it with a shovel. Um, and yeah, it actually broke the shell. Now, normally, if this is a turtle that someone would want to, you know, save and take to the vet and get it looked after, they can either kind of try to snap the shell back into place and put some crazy glue on there, fix the shell that way. I've seen vets even go to the point of, you know, actually putting metal brackets on them and bolting them on. 
but with this one here, it is most likely not going to have that done and it will probably be put to sleep in the very near future just because again, I'm not going to be able to find homes for them and we just, we can't put money into a turtle like this that we're not going to be able to find a home for because we can't keep all these turtles. It's just, it's too much. There, there's too many, we've already got turtles here and it's just, there's too many turtles here. So unfortunately this poor little guy is probably going to end up being put down. Um, one other one I'll show you here too. Um, this one here, there's a couple of them that had little weird deformities here. That could be for a number of reasons. It's got some weird little deformity going on. But it's moving around, it's eating and all that. It's even shedding. There's a, oh, there's a bit of a shell coming off there. It's shedding there. Um, yeah, this one, is this one nippy? No, this one's just shy. Anyways, yeah, so if you guys know anybody who has radiated sliders or any turtles of any kind and they don't want them anymore, just make sure they do not let them go in ponds and streams, okay? This is, it, it causes such a huge problem. People don't even realize it. Um, so we want to make sure that people don't let things go like this because this is what can happen. You get a bunch of animals like this and because people let them go thinking they were doing such a great thing, they've given them all a death sentence, all right? It's just, it's not good. If you can't find a home for them, try to contact a rescue, put ads up on the, on the internet, anything you can. Just don't let them go, okay? It, I hate to say it, but sometimes it is better to put an animal down than release them to the wild because there are so many problems you're causing by letting animals go, not just for the animal itself, but for the entire ecosystem around your area. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you've got any questions, send me, send me a message or uh, email me. Thanks a lot, guys.